you know, auxiliary ADC is a, it's a, it's not an audio ADC. It's a, it's a data ADC. It's a, it's a successive approximation an SAC uh, uh, type of converter. And um, in the Sigma 100 core, it is an eight bit converter. So, uh, you know, for eight bits, that's a B, um, eight bits is going to be 256 values. So it can go between zero and 255. So that's the 256 values. Um, and so it's only eight bits. And, but that's fine. It's 256 values for like a pot or something like that. And for a lot of things, that's, that's, that's pretty useful. Um, not a big problem. Now, there is, there is an issue with these converters. If there's noise uh, on what you're, noise in the pot, noise in the circuit, and whatever you're trying to, to read with this aux ADC, there could be noise in there which can cause it to dither. And if that aux ADC is going to a volume control to control a volume control, that's going to be dithering, and that could cause distortion, and you could hear that. Or it could be dithering a filter, or it could be dithering you know, things that you don't like. And so um, there are settings in hardware where you can you can do um, uh, you can set a, a filter you can filter the data so you, you put a low pass filter in and that and that helps to smooth that out so it doesn't change as fast and then there's a hysteresis how many bits of hysteresis you can add so you can you can um, you can select where it won't it needs a little bit more of a threshold to change. And then it'll change, and then it settles. So it, it, there's some little idiosyncrasies about it, but it's pretty good. And when you have the filter in there, it's really helpful. So when you have the filter in there, there is a mathematical filter going on. And so you end up with more than 8 bits. You end up with 12 bits. So if you look at the converter uh, output when you have the filter turned on, you're going to see 12 bits moving because... Um, um, uh, because of the filtering, because of the math that's going on. But it's basically an 8-bit converter. Now, where does this come in to the core? We have 8 bits, and we have 28 bits here. Now, I had drawn the dot in here. It's probably a good thing to put the dot back in here. Dot. So, 5.23. And so where does it come in, that converter? Where do the eight bits end up? And it's funny that it, well, it ends up being here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bits. It, it doesn't quite reach, well, I mean, it, see, it doesn't go negative. It only goes positive. It never reaches a one. The, the, hard, the highest it goes is one, 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 and then, you know, it depends on how the hysteresis is and the filter. But it doesn't reach a one, which is handy to know because when you're going to control muxes and stuff like that, it's good to know you'll never reach a one. Um, but you'll come awfully close. And it, it left justifies it up. So the rest are either going to be zeros or garbage. You know, if it's the 12 bits, there's going to be some noise here for the extra few more bits of noise. Um, but the converter comes in pretty much right where you need it. If you're going to bring this to a volume control that expects to go with a 1.23 number between 0 and 1, this will give you it between 0 and almost 1, you know, pretty, pretty close to 1. And so that works great for a volume control. You can just take this aux ADC and send it right to the volume control. Um, likewise, a lot of tables will take a, 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 a um, you can set them to take an integer number or you can set them to take a, um, a fractional number. And so therefore it'll be a dot, one dot 23. So that works out really good on the Sigma 100 cores. It's very simple to do. Just drop in the block, you know, literally the block that says aux ADC. You know, and you choose which one. There are four of them. And then, um, you know, let's say aux ADC one, zero. And then we send it right to the volume control input. You know, the, so, so volume. 
um, so right right to the control input. I'll have to show this to you in another video um, or elsewhere in this video. But you go to the volume control and uh, you don't need to do any more processing. A lot of times I'll put in a read back right here so I can check to make sure this is working properly and, and I get my zero to 0 0.9999 um, uh, proper levels going there. So anyways, now in the... <laughs> Let's go to the real hard one here. In the Sigma 200 cores, it's real easy. It, they don't have a sig, they don't have an aux ADC. <laughs> so we when we did the design of the Sigma 200 cores, we didn't add an aux ADC. I was not part of the design team. Don't kill the messenger here. Um, so uh, yeah, um, so no worry there. Um, so let's move on to the Sigma 300 cores. Sigma 300 cores, depends on which core. Some of them have eight aux ADCs. Um, some of them only have six. Yeah, six. Uh, anyhow, um, the uh, that ADC, those ADCs, we improve them. Again, it's a it's a, a SAC successive approximation converter, uh, a data converter going from zero to, in this case. 1024 because it's a 10 bit converter. Um, so it goes from 0 to 1023, actually, 0 to 1023. So it's a 10 bit converter. So a little bit more resolution, a little pretty good. Now, in this Sigma 300 core, where do the 10 bits come in? Now, remember, this goes all the way up to 32. The, the dot is not here. <laughs> the dot is here one bit up because remember it's a it's a 8.24 so we have 24 bits so we have 10 bits it comes in 0 to 9 here's your 10 bits It comes in right justified, which I guess it's handy if you want to control a mux, uh, uh, switch a mux or, or, or uh, a table. It's handy. It, the, you can argue this both ways. So this is not like this is a big problem, or a big mistake. You just have to be aware of this is what it is. It's different from the Sigma 100s. So it's coming in in the bottom here. So if you want to use this for a volume control, that you want to go from zero to almost one for full volume, well, uh, this is going to be an awfully small number. You're not going to get much volume out. So we need to do a shift. And we need to shift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we need to do a 14-bit shift to shift this 10 bits over so it's sitting in the right place. Simple as that. Um, and it's easy to do in a Sigma 300 because you take, you know, whatever block you're wanting. Uh, well, no, what am I saying? Whatever block. Da, da, da. I'm sticking to something else. So we have the aux ADC block, right? And, you know, you choose which one. I'm going to say zero again. So we send that out. But this is that 10 bits, right, justified. We're going to send this out. We're going to. Take it to a shift, shift, uh, and we're going to shift it that way 14 bits. So we're going to do a left shift 14 bits, and then we're going to send it to like the volume control. And now to go from zero to one, roughly. And so we, we need to do the shift to, to have that work. So that's how um, that works in the Sigma 300 cores. Um, but the aux ADCs are very super useful, um, subject for many other videos um, on how to use these things. And um, that's it. I think this is a good video. Um, don't forget to hit like and uh, press subscribe. <laughs> uh, have a good day.